Hello, welcome to NetSuite Bank Reconciliation Basics module. For this video, we are going to learn how we reconcile our bank statement with the transactions that we have in NetSuite. Of course, we do this to keep our accounts accurate. These days, it is very common for us to just import the downloaded file of a bank statement to do our bank reconciliation. However, for demonstration purposes, we will do it manually to gain an understanding at how bank reconciliation is basically done in NetSuite. So the flow of the module is going to be like this. First, we learn how to access the functionality by going through a navigational path and then setting up a shortcut so that we can access it easily the next time we want to use it. Then, we'll get familiar with the fields, tabs, and subtabs that we need to fill in in the form for a bank reconciliation, such as the statement amount or the statement date, taking the matching transactions and entering the right charges and deposits. Then know what we need to do and what we must not do when reconciling. When we have reconciled the statement, we save it. After saving the bank statement, we go and access the reconciliation statement. Now, Let's get to NetSuite and do our bank reconciliation. Let's go to Transactions, Bank, Reconcile Bank Statement. Now we are in the Reconcile Bank Statement page. But let me just first create a shortcut so that we can just access this page in one click the next time we want to use it. All right, and then save. So we hover our mouse to this and there it is, reconcile bank statement. So you can just click on this the next time you want to reconcile a bank statement. All right, back to the page. In the account field, select the bank account that you are balancing. For this, we will select checking account too. The currency is dependent on the currency of your bank account. The last reconcile balance field provides the balance of this account from the last time you reconciled your bank statement. So this is our first time to reconcile this checking account. So it's zero. In the statement date field, enter or pick the date of the statement. So let's go ahead and pick March 15th. In the start date, Enter the beginning of the reconciliation period and reconcile transactions before this date do not display on the subtabs. In the ending statement balance field, enter the closing balance of this statement. So let's say we have 30,000 as our ending statement balance. The reconciled this statement field updates as you check the reconcile box next to the transactions. The difference field keeps track of the difference between the statement balance and the combined amounts of the last reconciled balance field and reconcile this statement field. But we will see later how this amount changes as we go along in our reconciliation. So let's go to the subtabs and check the transactions that we need to reconcile. First, let's go to the deposits and credits subtab. So here are the transactions that we need to reconcile. So we can take the transactions that we need to reconcile with a bank statement. Or we can also click mark all and then later and tick the transactions that we do not see on the bank statement. If we want to unmark them all to begin again, let's click unmark all. If you mark bank transactions as cleared on an ongoing basis when you open a reconciliation, you can click Mark All Cleared to Reconcile, which updates transactions that are already cleared to be marked for reconciliation. Then, each transaction does not need to be marked individually. So let's just say we're going to click Mark All for this because we saw these transactions in the bank statement. Let's move to the Checks and Payments sub-tab. So let's click the Mark All Cleared to Reconcile to automatically tick the transaction that have been cleared. All right, so here we go. 
then let's stick the transactions that are showing in the bank statement. So let's assume this one is showing, this one is showing, this and this. And again, you may tick mark all or unmark all as options as well. At this point, we still have a difference of $1,999.22. So we need to account for this difference. But before we get to that, let's just say we want to take a break. And what we need to do to keep the transactions that we have ticked here is to click hold. We must not save it yet because there is still a difference and this is still not a reconciled bank statement. Look what happens when you click save. It gives a pop-up window and it says you have an unreconciled difference of 199.22. Do you want to continue? Of course, the best accounting practice is to not continue. Alright, so let's go ahead and click hold. So let's pretend we just got back from our break and would like to continue with the bank reconciliation. Let's access the bank reconciliation page through the shortcut. Let's go to star reconcile bank statement. As you can see, we still have the difference of 1999.22 and all the transactions that we've ticked before are still marked as when we left it. Alright, so let's continue. Let's account for the difference of $1,999.22. Let's go and say we have a bank charge here. So, so let's select a payee. Let's say it's ABN. Select the date. Let's say March 8 and memo. And the amount is 50.78. All right. Normally we need to select an account here. However, it is defaulted to bank charges per payee record. All right. If it's not a bank charge, we can always select bank fees. So let's select bank fees. All right, so let's go ahead and hit add. Let's see what the difference is now. So we have a difference of $2,050. So on our bank statement, we saw that there was a deposit of $2,050 from one of our service providers. So let's account for that. Let's say it came from Accountants Inc. And the date was March 1st. Let's just say and the amount is two thousand fifty. And let's account this one as 7180 professional fees. All right, so let's hit OK. And the difference is now zero. Now we are ready to save this bank statement for conciliation. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Now let's go ahead and access our saved bank reconciliation statement. Let's go to reports, banking and budgeting, and click on reconciliation. Let's select the account that we have reconciled. So let's select checking account 2. Reconciliation statements are saved by statement date. So for this one, let's select. March 15, 2015. Click Refresh. And this is what we've reconciled a while ago. At this time, 
you must have learned how to access the Reconcile Bank Statement page, process the reconciliation. We're already familiar with the main fields of a Reconcile Bank Statement page. We know how to tick the right transactions, use the Mark All, Mark All Clear to Reconcile and Mark All buttons, enter the right charges and deposits. We know the difference of Hold and Save. We know how to save the reconciliation and, of course, view the reconciliation statement. This ends our NetSuite Bank Reconciliation Basics module. Thank you for joining me.